Hello and welcome to another episode of Southern Shooters. My name's Stu. Today we're going to be looking at how different ammunition can affect the point of impact in any given firearm. Rusty's going to be heading down the range shortly, but before we catch up with him, we're going to check out what we're shooting. The rifle that we're going to be using is a CZ 452 in 22 LR. It's been sighted in at 50 meters with some Winchester PowerPoint hollow points. Now we're going to look at our four different types of ammunition which are used for a variety of purposes. Firstly, we're going to look at this CCI standard velocity round. It's 1,070 feet per second, it's a round nose projectile and commonly used for target shooting. Secondly, we're going to be looking at these Winchester power points which the rifle sighted in with and these RWS high velocity rounds. They're both around the 1,300 feet per second and have 40 grain hollow point projectiles. Very, very common use in hunting. It's going to be very interesting to see because they're very similar around the different points of impact. And finally, the CCI Stinger. This is a hyper velocity round traveling 1,640 feet per second. It's got a 32 grain hollow point projectile, very commonly used in hunting and one of the fastest available 22 rounds. Well, I better get this rifle over to Rusty and let's see what results he gets down at the range. Hi guys, we're down at the range now, we're ready to shoot these uh, 22 rounds. We're going to start with the lowest velocity, the CCI standards that Stu showed you before. Let's put five shot to group down for that one. Alright, looks like we've got a bit of a wind off to the right because all those targets, uh, all those rounds went slightly low and slightly to the right. Now, the low is because it's a lower velocity than what this is sighted in for, but it looks like that wind's uh, going to be around for a bit of the day. Going to move on to the Winchester power points. These ones here. Let's see how they go. This is what it's meant to be sighted in for, so it should be on the money. But uh, that wind may be uh, playing a little bit of havoc. All right, one of them was uh, dead on, and the other four were off to the right, but all about the same uh, elevation, so it seems to be about seems to be right for this gun. This one here is the uh, same velocity, uh, or very similar velocity at least with a similar projectile. Should be about the same. Once again I'm going to expect it to the right slightly. Yeah, so that was pretty much the same point of impact as the Winchesters, sort of what we expected. Onto the last ones, these are the Hyper Velocity Stingers from CCI. I'm going to guess that these are going to be a little bit higher. We'll have a look and see. That looks like the best group of the day, but it is sitting a lot higher than the uh, point of aim. Okay, I've got my targets. It's pretty similar to what I expected. This one here is a CCI standard. That's the lowest velocity we used, and that was the lowest point of impact. All of them are a little bit off, off to the right because, uh, because of the wind. Except this one here, that was either me or the uh, wind died off. Notice uh, the High velocity is what it's sighted in for, was about right, sort of hitting dead on. Same with the RWS hollow points. The wind may have died off a little bit because they were coming in a little bit closer as well. And um, But for the same velocity as the Winchesters, they're about on par. The CCI Stingers, they're a lot faster velocity, and it shows it here. They're hitting a lot higher, means they're not dropping as much. Dead in line, so I didn't think I had much wind there. 
which is uh, might be the new load for this gun. I'd always recommend when you buy a new gun, grab a few different packets of ammo and see which shoots best uh, in your particular rifle. Each rifle seems to like a different brand or a different type of uh, ammunition. It's about trying and experimenting. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go reset my gun in. We'll catch you next time.